This week I received an email from someone who had 258 cells containing strings that he wanted to combine into a single cell. A bit like this, I've created a smaller example, but I have a list of names down column A, and in C1 I've combined all those names into a single cell. Now my first thought was to use VBA to loop through each cell adding the contents to a master string, which would then become the value stored in the result cell. However, there's another way to do this which doesn't involve code. It involves combining two functions, concatenate and transpose. It involves using the F9 key and it involves using an array formula. Now, I could just give you the steps required to combine the content of these cells into a single cell, but where's the fun in that? It helps if you understand how it all ties together. Now, let me remind you what the concatenate function does. It combines the contents of multiple cells into a single cell. So, in this example, in D2, I've used the concatenate function to join together A2 to a space to B2 and then I've copied the formula down. If you're not familiar with the transpose function, here's an example of what it can do. We have the number of units sold for each month down column B, but the boss wants the information in a report as per columns D through to O. Now I can't just take the information in column B and copy and paste, but I could use copy and then paste special transpose. But what I would end up with on row two is static data and not formulas. So what I've done in all these cells across row two is I've used the transpose function. It's the same function in all the cells, transpose B2 to B13. You'll also notice that the formula contains curly braces around it and these indicate it's an array formula. Array formulas are a whole separate topic but in simple terms an array formula is a formula that acts on a set of values rather than a single value. Now to create an array formula you press Control, shift and enter to enter it in and Excel puts the curly braces in. So where is all this leading? Well let me show you. On here, I've got a list of names, and I'm not going to use 258 values. I'm just going to use 11, just to illustrate the point. And in C1, I'm going to put a formula that will concatenate or combine all those names together. So I start off, as I always do with a formula, with an equal sign, and type the word transpose. And open brackets. Select A1 to A11, close brackets. Now, in this example, I'm going to have a space to separate each name. So it's going to be Paul, space Andy, space Mike, space Peter, and so on. If I didn't want a space, if I wanted a, a dash or a full stop, I can use that, or I don't need to have any separating character. It could just end up as one long string, but in this case, I want a space. So click in the formula bar, type in an ampersand, and then type a space character inside quotes. That will generate an actual space character. I then need to press function key F9. And what F9 does when you're actually typing a function or formula in is it evaluates the formula. So it actually gives me the results of the formula. Now it puts the curly braces in because I've used the transpose function. So it knows that the transpose function is an array. So I need to remove those, manually delete them. And I then need to combine or concatenate all of those values together. So equals concatenate, open brackets, put a closing bracket at the end, press enter because this is just a normal function, not an array function. And I have the result I'm looking for. So in essence, you put equals transpose, select the cells, 
If you want to add a separating character, you can press F9, delete the curly brackets, and then enclose the whole thing inside a concatenate function. Well, I hope you found that useful. I hope that's answered the question. And for more Excel tutorials, please visit my website, theexceltrainer.co.uk. Thank you.